I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. Just as long as friends and family sing along. And I don't need more money or faster car now. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar now. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home, and then I'll never have to face my nights alone. Good morning. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. What else? Thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, click that bell so you never miss a video, and join us on all our, our on what? All of our adventures. Thank you. Welcome to Iowa. We are headed to the bridges of Madison County. Who knew? They have a covered bridge festival in the fall, and we're going to go check that out. Because we have to get in some camping before it snows, which apparently is tomorrow. Yeah, we wanted to get one last camping trip in before it starts to get really, really cold. There's a festival that goes around these covered bridges. We don't really know how extensive it is. It sounds like it's a pretty big deal. Um, there's a car show that goes with it. All kinds of things to explore. So we're excited to get out and see what there is to see before winter sets in. It's not that slippery, just stand up. <laughs> you gotta commit, Maddie! Take my hand. Let's just walk down together. Daddy, my hand too. I'm another commit. Yeah, there you go. Alright, you're good. So these bridges were constructed in the 1800s because there were so many rivers in this area that the, the travelers needed a way to get across all of these waterways. And so they started constructing open roof bridges and open side bridges and they just basically weren't standing up to the elements. They would deteriorate really quickly and end up costing a lot more money because of how quickly they deteriorated. So they started building the covered bridges. And this one is the, um, the Howell Bridge, which is actually the longest one left in the state.
very brisk walk through the um, Cover Bridge Festival in Winterset, Iowa. It was a good little festival. They had plenty of variety of stuff. Um, so we are uh, headed to see more bridges because this festival that's here in Winterset goes along with the covered bridges. Um, so you can go see those and they have some things at some of the bridges, but not all of the bridges. I need to go get the book and read it now because I have never read The Bridges of Madison County. I'll watch so, the movie. Of course you will. But we're off to see more bridges. And the sun has come out. So we hope to get some good shots of some bridges now. Woohoo! So these bridges are really pretty and in the fall it's really cool to come out and see it, them because the colors of the trees obviously make it that much more beautiful and the festival is pretty fun but I think if I were to do it again I would probably not do it on the festival weekend so that you could like be the only person at one of the bridges. The Cutler Donahue Bridge is the one that's in the city park and I would imagine that, that one probably has people at it pretty often but some of these others are kind of out of the way and you know out in the country so I think you could totally be all by yourself if it wasn't the festival weekend but there's just kind of people all around. I would agree. Oh. I concur. <laughs> I concur. Stop it! A man of few words. <laughs> The Roseman Bridge, there is a little gift shop so you can get some Bridges of Madison County stuff, including the Bridges of Madison County. And some covered bridges wine to go with it. And some Roseman Bridge delicious huckleberry salsa to eat with your wine and book. Steve thinks I'm totally crazy. You love me. You picked me. We're married forever and ever and ever. Oh. 